Welcome to LA Now, your Los Angeles County news source. County doctors are sharpening their skills with a cutting edge training program. Plus celebrate Weights and Measures Week at the Metrology Lab. And the Community Development Commission helps find housing for those in need. LA Now starts right now. And thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Deneau. Harbor UCLA Medical Center is a pioneer in education and training. Keeping up with tradition, a new simulation and skills center is giving doctors and staff access to cutting edge technology. Perrine Bakshay has more. Here we try to mimic a hospital room um, and uh, where we have a patient. Practice makes perfect. At the new Simulation and Skills Center in the Harbor UCLA Medical Campus, doctors are gaining hands-on experience, just as they would in a real hospital bedside scenario. So the patient gets the benefit of having somebody who's actually practiced what they're going to do before they come to the patient's bedside. Directors and staff say the goal of the center is to impact patient safety and patient outcomes through simulation training, such as practicing life-saving techniques on this high-fidelity mannequin. He's able to breathe, he's able to blink, he can speak. Uh, here we have put a wound on him here uh, that allows him to bleed. Studies show being familiar with the complex medical technology will increase practitioner success on a real patient. The learner can come in and repeat um, a task until they get it down. Eventually, patient care is, is uh, the end result, better patient care and quality of work and so forth. This ultrasound machine is an example of a great diagnostic tool that helps doctors learn how to start a central line. And if you look here, you can actually see the artery pulsating. We try to stress that we want people to make mistakes here uh, the culture in medicine is, is such that we're not allowed to make mistakes, and we're trying to change that here. In the future, the center will open its doors to community providers and serve as a resource for simulation-based medical training. For LA Now, I'm Perrine Bakshay. And to date, the center has involved 12 departments at the hospital in simulation programs, and that number is growing rapidly. You can now apply the county's restaurant rating system to your own kitchen. The Public Health Department has posted a test on their website in an effort to reduce the risk for foodborne illness in your home. Now, each year, foodborne illness sends 325,000 people to the hospital and kills more than 5,000 people nationwide. The test is easy to take, and when you're finished, the Public Health Department will assign a letter grade to your kitchen, much like the restaurant rating system. Now, to access the quiz, go to Public Health Department's website and click on the links. The Canyon Creek Senior Living Facility in Calabasas is putting a roof over the heads of county citizens in need. Now the Federal Home Program and the Community Development Commission funded the $22 million facility. Canyon Creek was developed for seniors that are low income or have been displaced due to the recent economic downturn. Now the 74 unit facility serves county residents over the age of 62. We wanted to make sure seniors that were affected by the foreclosure crisis were given an opportunity to stay and live here in this new development. It has become a, a really a community within a community. And if it wasn't for Cameron, Canyon Creek and Thomas <coughs> Safran and Associates, I don't know where a lot of people would be today. Recent budget cuts will make it more difficult to develop these kinds of projects, but the Community Development Commission is committed to finding more housing opportunities for this population. Now, interested applicants for the home program may contact the on-site manager at Canyon Creek at 818-225-8298. And for more information on the home program, use the contact information on your screen. Earlier this month, the county celebrated Weights and Measures Week, but inside the county's metrology lab, the business of weights and measures is important every day. A pound is a pound is a pound. Especially here in the metrology lab at the County of LA's Agricultural Commissioner Weights and Measures Department. It's all about accuracy so you, the consumer, get what you pay for. If you go to the um, gas station and you pump your gas and you pay for 
20 gallons of gas or even 12 gallons of gas and you, you know, shell out your 40 bucks, you want 12 gallons of gas and not 10. If you go to the grocery store and buy um, lobster tails, you want, you know, seven pounds of lobster tails rather than five. For the accuracy of anything that's sold by a weight or a volume or some measure, that the equipment they are using is itself accurate. The basic method of testing is by comparison to a known weight. All weights in the lab are scientifically calibrated at the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Their scope of measurement is very broad, as tiny as one milligram. For larger weights, they come back in the bay and use the hoist. The hoist can pick up anything from me at 185 pounds all the way up to three tons. We have field inspectors who go out and test the scales that they use to weigh the hamburger and the lobster tails and they test the pumps and they take complaints from, from uh, consumers who call in and say, hey, there's such and such a gas station and we'll send an inspector out there. And it's important because we want to make sure that the equipment that is checking to make sure that the scales in the stores are accurate and uh, other devices, that they're all measuring the same. For more information, go to the website on your screen. Photographs of foster children waiting for adoption will open your heart. Now the photographs have been turned out into six foot tall cardboard cutouts and will be on display at the Heart Gallery in the West Side Pavilion later this month. The exhibit is sponsored by the Department of Children and Family Services and will put the spotlight on the need for adoptive parents. The West Side Pavilion is located at 10800 West Pico Boulevard. The County Arts Commission is helping local theater groups get their plays produced. Now the commission is accepting applications for Inside the Ford's Winter Partnership for the 2012-2013 season. Now the program provides the opportunity for local theater companies to produce their works in a beautiful theater at a reduced cost and with help for marketing costs as well. For more information or to check out the season's offerings, go to www.fordtheaters.org. And that's all the time we have. Thank you for joining us. Watch us online anytime on LACountyChannel.com. And please stay tuned for a list of websites featured on our show. And we'll see you next time on LA Now.